Awakening was like as much as I liked Awakening, it's not. It wasn't Path of Radiance. <laughs> Uh, that's my I, main I don't conflict. Care for awakening as much as most people did. Uh, like, was too easy. Hard mode was eh, kind of boring, and lunatic mode we won't even talk about. You don't speak of that. I mean, and lunatic, lunatic plus. Yeah, I don't even want to touch that thing. I haven't even unlocked it yet, nor do I ever want to. Yeah, my my thing with awakening is the I. Me and time travel stories are kind of like. Uh, when they stole the generation gimp um, thing from Epi4, they should have handled it better than this. I think they handled the generation thing just fine. Actually, medieval time travel, yay! Yeah, awakening was too easy or impossible. I think that's the best way to describe it. Was awakening was it was like the most unbalanced, weirdest game. Yeah, it's it, there was no middle ground between the, the difficulties. It was either you could mow everything down or everything mowed you down. It's kind of like a level it's one. Also, kind of how it's reflected in the pair up system. Either the pair up either is breaks the game or you need it to survive. Yeah, I mean, Awakening was pretty cool as a game, but just and I liked what they tried to do. It's just they didn't handle it properly for me. Also waifu simulator. A what? Also waifu simulator. Yeah, waifu simulator. I actually, you know, there's this one thing I don't really care about we weakening as much as everyone else did. Was, uh, besides that, well, it kind of had the least amount of characters that I really liked. Oh, yeah. No, I Awakening had, had, like, no characters that I really cared for. I like Henry because he was kind of funny. Henry, I didn't care anything about. Oh yeah, then I think... okay. like, then anyway, just it's not like other characters where they had like a dynamic where they weren't just one thing and they just ran with that. They had like they were actual three-dimensional characters. Awakening is Aww. I like candy, candy, candy. Or uh, let's see, what's another example that isn't Virian? Uh, I'm a tomboy. I'm a I'm a, I'm a manly girl. Ah. Oh yeah, Sully. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, like, I think I loved Path of Radiance because of the dynamic the characters had. Huh. Like, they, I have favorites like, from that game. Huh? You know that? I, like, I have favorites from that game. When I bother you supports, I get favorite characters. But with Awakening, I got supports, and I was like, okay. Who is the villager character? I again? learned nothing new. Oh, Donald. Donald. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. Awakening was a very meh. Fire Emblem game. Gameplay was all over the place. Yeah. And it was completely broken, and they threw way too many good items at you, like candy. Oh, yeah, Donald had always had that pot on his head. That was. Yeah, Donald was that awesome. That kind of reminded me of Tactics Ogre Night of Lotus. <laughs> He's like, no, the soldiers kind of look like they have, like, pots on their heads. Okay, well, that took a very long time for us to get to here, but finally, Mulder! That nine con. Yeah, that con, bro. That nine constitution. See, see that con? Half of that is his mustache. Compared to that, the five con. Ugh, Pegasus Knight, go away. Although, Mulder. I like to do the Pegasus Knight. Actually, there is one thing. Just like, at least he's like speedy, like a like a Pegasus Knight and all that. Why can't? Oh yeah, that's right. He's a freaking neutral character. I was gonna try to move him in there. Uh. Jillium Advance, Franz Advance, Erica. I'm gonna give. Her, I'm gonna have to give her an Iron it's Sword. Like, I kind of like some of the characters, but I don't like really like them in a way like that. I love using them or like to hear about them and all that. Yeah, like in Path of Radiance, I'd say my favorite character at like one point was Boyd because he he screwed the Weapon Triangle hardcore. Yeah, he had problems with lances as well. Anyway. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I'm kidding. Like, I, I, did I told you, tell you that story, though? No. Okay, my Boyd in chapter uh, 17, part 2. Uh, uh, are you talking about Radiant Dawn? No, um, Path of Radiance. 
Oh, sorry, you said chapter 17, part 2. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Where, you know, it, like, had that squad of Myrmidons in it? <laughs> Boyd somehow got caught off guard by that Myrmidon squad, and he dodged them all and then crit them all with a hand axe. <laughs> Not even a freaking killing edge. He had a hand axe. That he was also axe. a level 3 warrior by that time, but still. Alright, bad pun time. That hand axe really came in handy. Da 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 <laughs> Hey! Oh yeah, Ross the boss. Ross yeah, the boss. This guy, yes. He will be our main axe user. Sorry, Garcia. Cool and all, but I made Ross into a pirate. Yeah, I always turn Ross into a pirate and then a berserker. I keep hearing that's the best one. But I am curious as to what happens if you turn into a fighter, because I heard you only get one ocean seal. And, you know, I, I like to calm. Oh, I just missed a whole bunch of story stuff there. Oh, well. I did that on purpose. You guys don't get story stuff. Mostly because I'm... Mashing. I don't, don't think shops... <laughs> Go, Franz! Well, Franz, oh, we need to get your speed. Avatar into a bunch of different things. For example, my favorite so far was um, turning my avatar into a really good general and giving him all the breaker skills. I wonder what happens if I don't. Oh, the tower has an ocean seal? I didn't know that. Yeah, it does. When do you get that? Where? Um, I believe it's the upper floors. You have to get beyond. You have to, like, progress further in the story. Yeah, I'm only on chapter 10. I didn't know that. And I also think it's a hidden item. But either way, uh, yeah. Gotta go get Garcia now. Gotta go fast. <laughs> no. Nah. No Sanic here. Come on. Ah. Okay, let's... Let's have Eric to deal with this. Seth. What is in that village down south? Is that the is that the pure water? Yeah, from what I remember, yeah. Oh. Excellent played this chapter twice. So I believe yeah, I think that was the pure water one. I managed to get there one of the two times. Oh yeah. man, look at that. Oh, wait, look at all those it. vulneraries. Yeah. Franz be healing. Uh, is it worth it? Second time completion, the final ogre bot. Okay. So I had to play through the tower twice. Alright. Sounds a bit boring. Oh no. Uh, it's quick. I could just turn the emulator on really fast and just go in blazing. <laughs> yeah, you, you. But the thing is, you do. I remember you do have to uh, complete the story uh, to a certain point in order to unlock the other floors. Because yeah. <clears throat> I believe at chapter 10 you only have like the first floor. Oh, what is this yeah, guy's I move? Two. Right, I only yeah. have the first two actually. Alright, we'll have Franz go there. I think I might just have Ross level up the uh, tower. Or try to pick up some kills off this dude. Or uh... Erica's leftovers. Uh, I was lucky. I was able to get Ross to um, level 10 during the middle of, I think it was next chapter? Well, that's close. I don't like that. That, that, that looks dangerous. Uh, let's see. <laughs> nice. How about no? Alright. Oh, shit. Forgot about this guy. Gosh dang it, Roxas! Luckily. Ross, the boss, doesn't care. That reminds me, I'm so glad I, apparently my sister found out uh, there was an IMDB page for um, Incredibles 2 going on next year. <laughs> oh, nice. Erica, once again, giving absolutely zero <laughs> shits. <laughs> hey, I'll let that village fall. There's nothing important there aside from a pure water, and even then, by that point, it's gonna be like... Yeah, that, I was kind of confused when they saw the pure water. Like, there weren't any mages around, and there weren't any in the next map. Yeah. 
back then I read chapter Rainy in chapter 5, I think it was chapter 6, like where the boss was one. Okay, so we gotta check out Ross's stats. Nice bases for being a trainee. That luck, though. Uh, oh yeah, 8 luck? Oh wow, that's actually really nice. And Garcia. Decent for that a starting play there. Con, though. Oh yeah, he can wield any weapon without giving a shit. Yeah. I need to get Erica an Iron Sword. Actually, no, Slim Sword. I do enjoy ha like, playing the GBA games, at least based on the fact that I've only really completed FP7. I do enjoy having units with good con because of the fact that I'm helped you wield weapons. Yeah, I like how in uh, Path of Radiance they changed it so that you had to, uh... Yeah. They found out that the con that kind of made Pickets Nades a bit worse. In GBA Franz? Games, they not caring. Low you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna guess that's not just me seeing that. I'm gonna guess, and plus, seeing like, Florina, I think her name was. Oh yeah, freaking Florina. Who was the only Pegasus that I actually found? Because I found out that apparently Florina is used to recruit the other one. And why not? Let's go for this. Bone. Erica, How did you hit him? How'd you, how did you get hit by him? Come on. Don't worry. Don't Fran, Franz will pick up the slack. Single weapon triangle, you failed me. Nah, that bandit just got lucky with the RNG. He blew the random number, god. Alright. Aren't you the great Garcia? Okay, I'm gonna have to go into a slight tirade about this. The Great Garcia, a soldier who fought for Reneus, but is now retired and a level five or level four fighter. If he is such a great warrior, logic dictates that he would be a little bit higher of a level. I heard someone argue that he should have just been like a Jagan warrior. Yeah, he should have been. As a person who has played a little bit of FE5, um, yeah. Like here's that the thing. Awesome. Like. Uh, and you'll notice this, like, as we go through our Pathfinder game. People will be appropriately leveled. Like, for example, uh, there is a dude who is an expert duelist. You, you do it anyway. No, not that type of duelist. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, he's an expert duelist, and he will be a very high level, and if you guys do try to fight him at a lower level, he will probably... Pwn your faces off. Mm. And anyway. that goes with, like, anything, really. Mm. But yeah. Pathfinder, I, we are planning on doing that this Saturday, right? I mean, not Saturday. Uh, Sunday, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Eric, did you hear that? And like I said, I got a couple uh, new people from my Monday games to kind of fill in gaps. Yeah, we, we didn't tell Eric that, though. I don't think. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah. I'm a fighter. I know I can do this. Oh, who's this? It's Jariasin! Uh, Who's okay. Jariasin here? Jariasin is a mod. Who's That's... Siren? Yeah, who is Siren? That's a good question. This character I don't know yet. <laughs> no, no, I don't even know him. I don't know why here. Siren? Slash her or Tana. But yeah, uh, Tana, totally. We cannot let Tana die. Okay, start button. Why is everyone getting a buffer? I'm not dropping any frames.